Hello, my most amazing artist. Today, we are going to learn about an artist named Charlie Harper. Charlie Harper was born in West Virginia in 1922. His upbringing on his family farm influenced and inspired a lot of his artworks and the animals you see. He lived and worked in Cincinnati as an American modernist artist. He illustrated stylized wildlife, prints, posters, and book illustrations. If you have not already finished cutting out any part of your project, you are going to finish that first. Cutting and gluing on birch trees, cutting and gluing on your bird as well. If you have some extra birch trees, you can use those to cut out some more branches making sure that when you glue things on, you use the rule dot, dot, not a lot. Please remember to glue on the edges. The edges are important so that nothing flops off of your project. You wanna make sure you either use dots of glue about the size of a ladybug, or you could use a skinny noodle river of glue if that works better for you making sure you get the edges around each of your pieces of paper. Then you can start to glue things on. You can arrange things on your paper however you want. Arranging things on your page in art is called your composition. Making sure you give everything a nice back rub once you glue it on. This will help things stick really nicely. After you're all finished cutting and gluing, called a collage, is to cut and glue, you can add some snow in the background too if you like with a little bit of white paint. Great, now our job is to frame our work. So when we frame our project, we are going to put glue on the back, flip your bird project over, and grab your glue bottle. Twist the glue bottle open and pick off anything at the top. Then you might need to give it a nice shake like a ketchup bottle so your glue goes down to the bottom. When we glue, we are going to use a long skinny noodle river of glue all around the edges. So you'll go all around the edges of your paper and then you're going to make an X in the middle. Big letter X. So your glue on your paper should look a little something like this. Then you are going to flip your paper over and before you stick it on your frame you want to hover above your paper so that you can guesstimate and eyeball about what is the middle of your frame then you can stick it on if you want to be a little more exact you can grab a ruler and there should be one and a half inches on each side one inch and a half Then you'll flip your paper over, and with a flat high five hand, you will give it a nice back rub. This should be for about 20 seconds so that everything can really stick on your page. Now what's missing from your page is your name. So you will grab a white colored pencil or a white gel pen, and you will write your first name, and your last initial or your first and last name on the bottom right corner. Then you are going to write your teacher's name on the back. Now, if you would like, this part is optional, you can place little dots of glue in your background. Please make sure that they are small ladybug sized dots of glue all around your background. 
these are spots where your glitter is going to go. That's right, you heard it. If you would like to, you could put some glitter on your project. Again, this is optional, so you do not have to add glitter if you do not want to. Then, you are going to go to the glitter station. Please make sure that you are not opening the big side, but you are using the side with the small holes. You'll sprinkle just a little bit of glitter all around onto your dots, and then you're going to curve your paper like a U. You're going to dump the extra glitter into the bucket, and then voila, you are all finished. The reason I have you do this over the bucket is so that I can recycle and reuse the glitter so that we don't have any waste. Your project is going to be wet with glue and glitter, so you will need to put these on the drying rack today.